Louis. Welcome back to Bro. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. In oh. this episode, we will talk about a great game. Graeme. <laughs> sorry, cubes. Game Cube. Cubes made of grain. Mmm, grain cubes. I always like grain was like a really. Like, uh, oh my god. What was that? Uh, oh, shit. They can go over a wall. Um, what was it's that? like you could fly or something. What was. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What was that, uh, thing from, uh, Mr. Krabs 8? It was like. It was like brand. Oh yeah. yeah, brand. I always thought the word brand sounded so delicious when I was a kid. Me? I am. I don't know. I was very attracted that. to cartoon foods as a kid. Oh no, I would have. I would have liked that. For me, it was anime food. Mm. Um, oh, anime food was good too. I remember that episode of Bobo Bo where Bo 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 where Bo 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 Bo. I think the name is Bo 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 Bo. Yes. yes. There's seven bows. <laughs> where um uh the guy came in like finding the crunchy food mm -hmm. or something. He was like, oh, this food's too crunchy. And, and it, like, ooh, big jelly float. Um, and, it, like, the, the ramen he was eating looked fucking delicious. Dude, I don't me. know if you've ever watched that show recently, but it is a trip. I oh, I'm it. sure. I think I'd actually I like to that watch show that at some point. so much. It is hysterical. <laughs> really? It's still good? It's, it's still good? really funny, yeah. Oh, my God. It's I... stupid. It's the dumbest show I've ever seen, but it's so great. I need to give that a watch. It's... Yeah, no, there's so many. There's a lot of good clips on YouTube. I'll, I'll show you afterwards. But uh, the Jelly Floats remind me of an en kind of remind me of an enemy from Wario World, which is another GameCube game that I super love. Uh -huh. uh, called the Laser Jellyfish. <laughs> Do you want to uh... guess what it is, Casey? <laughs> I'll take one guess. Is that a water dumple? It's a water dumple. It's not a water a dumple. In Wario World. That's not He's what still. Is. Stop, leave me alone. Okay, alright. Also, a water ah! dumple? <laughs> water dumple. Okay. They are related to bull orbs, fun fact. So, anyway, in Wario World, there's enemies called the laser jellyfish, <laughs> which only appear in the last level of the game, the desert level. Uh -huh. There are these big floating jellyfish that appear in the desert. Out of the water, as you that do. float what? in the sky okay. and shoot lasers at you. Gotcha. Oh my god. It's great. Dude. I love these guys. They're so, like, relaxing looking. Okay, kill it. <laughs> ah! Water dumple! <laughs> Came out of nowhere! He was like a shock stick <laughs> sound effect for when he jumps in. Because you were so actually frightened by the least intimidating thing I've ever seen. <laughs> His name is, uh. Basically explains it all. Water dumple. Do you know what would be, the, what would be actually scary? What? <laughs> if a Batamon just showed up. <laughs> I need to get like a GIF of Batman walking around. Just so I can like a have walking a... Walking Batman GIF just to put it all in. Alright, okay, well, Louie, come on. Let's go get him. Is he killing you? No, I don't think so. I think he just like kidnaps no, you. No, I have you. Oh, wait. Oh, shit, he is. He's oh. doing damage. Oh my god, I never knew that. Oh, oh, okay, he's fine now. There you are, Omar. I have seen the face of God. <laughs> it's not pretty, Louie. I saw the face of God. God stared at me and he was not impressed. <laughs> there we go. I like how they go by the- I like how the big one looks when he flies around like that. Hello. Yeah, that, uh, makeup I don't know what that thing. is. Yeah, it looks like makeup. Huh. Man, that was cool. I didn't know those guys could hurt you. That's so neat. That's actually just like jellyfish. They like, I'm um- I'm gonna call it a powder conservatory. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Powder Chris. barracks. Let's see how this turns out. <laughs> Powder barracks. Uh, did you know jellyfish actually eat like that? They just kind of take things in just and digest whoosh. them, and then they they just like put it out the same hole. <laughs> I think that's cool. That's nasty. That's cool. <laughs> Powder barracks. Come on. Mirrored stage. Damn it. That's not. I mean, what is it? What? I mean, whatever. Emily. Emily. Remember is that, like, she was a on the channel. <laughs> I sure do. I don't. <laughs> Kristen. Shots fired! Oh! She's gonna murder me. <laughs> She's not gonna watch this episode. No, probably not. Oh my god. You're the busy adult in the busy adult world. My busy adult in the busy adult world. Hashtag general says nice. Hashtag hipster Satan says nice. Anyway. GameCube! Uh, I'm glad GameCube. you let the lowercase r speak for itself. Thank you, hipster Satan. I really like. Warrior World. Warrior yeah. World is pretty cool. Yeah. I, uh, we tried to make that series happen, but we didn't have a lot to talk about, and also the footage got corrupted. So. Yeah, it did. Which was unfortunate. Yeah, like, the like half first the episode was, like, really cool. Yeah. And we beat the whole game. We beat, like, half the game uh -huh. on the first day. Was that half the game? Really? Oh, yeah, it's a really short game. Oh, my God. That's it's so four cool. worlds, and each of those stages is about as long as it gets. Wow. Actually, that's except cool. for the last world. The last world, the, the stages get a lot longer. And I remember the boss is just being fucking weird. Oh, it's a weird game, but it's, like, 
it's so it controls so perfectly for a 3D platformer. Oh hello. For like what it is, it controls absolutely perfectly. And that's why I like it so much. Huh. Come on. Ah, we didn't talk about GameCube in this episode. That's what I was just talking about oh, just yeah, now. <laughs> it's a GameCube game, stupid. <laughs> it is, it is. GameCube has so many, like, very, very good games. Yeah. Run. I've dele I deleted my Melee file, uh, file, re my Melee file I recently. Yeah. Because I wanted to start over, because I like that game so much. And yeah, because Unlocking like the characters unlocking is the characters. really, really fun. And it's a good time. I love that game. Yeah, it's, a. Uh... And, 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 show, uh, text me the picture of that Ganondorf thing. Oh, yeah. The, um, that's Ganondorf, and he, like, that's his, his silhouette pose for yeah. when you first see him. To make more artworks for things, it's cool. Well, no, that wasn't artwork, that was just kind of, like, a pose. Whatever, make more of those. <laughs> it's neat. Not just like, oh, hey, it's this picture that's used for everything, I wonder who it is. <laughs> oh, no. Well. That's a good point, actually, they do use those pictures a lot. It's like, At least they're everything. really good-looking pictures, though. I guess. I guess. I guess. I suppose so. Sir. No, 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 not them. Leave them alone. No, no, not the children. <laughs> you monster jelly floats. So do this? Do the jelly floats go after the Pikmin at all or Olimar? They go after the Pikmin. The the larger jelly float goes after the cabins. Oh, I see. Yeah. Let's yeah, finish this me. fucker. Let's kill him. Let's kill this bitch. <laughs> you know another good uh good game for the GameCube? What? Sunshine. Sunshine is a great game, dude. I love it. I love yeah. that game so much. That's why we played it. It was like, like, okay, for those of you who haven't seen it, that's one of our best series. That, I would say really it's, I'd say it's possibly our best series, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very fun. Except for some parts of Gelada Beach, I think. It was really great. It's a good series. Go check it out. Oh, sure. you better be coming down here. Yeah. You better be coming down here. Because I'll get the party nice. started. I'm coming down. I, um, had another... Oh, yeah. This little game for the GameCube, which spoilers for those of you who watch this channel who aren't most gamers will know. Paper Mario 2 is on GameCube. Uh -huh. And it's fucking phenomenal. The Thousand Year Door. Yeah, I'm gonna say probably games. better than the first one. I don't know if I like it more. It's 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 still it's really good. Like, like I'll give you that much. Like it's it, like in in the running to be my favorite game. Oh my God. But so is the first one. Yeah. So I don't I don't know. It's really good, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Which will be after the first Paper Mario, so we gotta finish that. Yeah, we will, we will. Oh my god, it's eating them! Let them go! I didn't know they could eat them! Well, you're down Shit. to two. Oh my god, okay. Huh. Uh, there they are. Oh, okay, that's neat. They were all inside. I didn't know they could actually eat them, that's crazy. Oh my god. Okay, well, good to know. What is this? What was the series where we talked about GameCube DLC? Is that this? Oh, one? that was uh, that was uh, Mario Sunshine, hmm. ironically. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, because we were just like, oh, which one would you uh like to have DLC for? And it was like, oh, GameCube or Sonic Adventure 2 to make it a better game. Sonic Adventure 2 is also really good, though. We should play that. Really one. fun, anyway. We talked about that in, in Kirby. Yeah. In we should. We we should. Because that one's not that long if you know how to do everything. And <laughs> stuff and. That that would be very fun to play in retrospect. Yeah, just for like the nostalgia. That's that game is such an anomaly to me, because like every modern Sonic game is ridiculously stupid. Like uh -huh. that's just like a fact that modern Sonic are dumb ass games, and it's mm -hmm. like this is stupid, and you're take and the game is trying to take itself seriously, and it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, that dumb a the dumbass stupid Sonic Adventure games. Do work. Yeah. Somehow. I just keep making games like those. I mean, it's just, I guess it's really weird. It's kind of a tall order, but still, yeah. like try it. And and they're not even very good. They're they're passable. <laughs> yeah. Like, they're just at we best. like them because they're because we're so nostalgic for them. But uh -huh. like, Vorpal platter. platter. What the? A Vorpal is a, a type of sword, I believe. Really? Well, okay. Isn't, isn't that like the sword that Alice in Wonderland had for like the Jabberwock? The uh, Vorpal sword. I don't. I don't know. Huh. You know, need to brush up on your Lewis Carroll. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Gotta brush up on my Alex in Wonderland lore. Alex in Wonderland? Al Alice. Why Al did I no, say no, that? No, no, no. Alex in Wonderland? <laughs> is that is that the is that what the story is? Have I been mistaken all these years? Yes, you are. You were. Alex in Wonderland. There Come he on. is. Get your There's <laughs> Alex in Wonderland, Casey. Because you have to make that a thing now. Oh, Jesus Christ. There you go. <laughs> I brought this Casey, hell if you upon want, myself. If you want to stop having to Photoshop all this stuff, you're gonna have to stop saying this amazing shit. Damn <laughs> next it. time on Bro Hive, we'll go. We'll be on the next floor. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Uh, there was there was one uh, Kirby air ride where it's like.
Where it's like, it, you, you got me like a really tall order to do, like in Photoshop, and it's like, a future K is gonna fucking kill himself. <laughs> it's like really funny. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.